Are you ready to give your front porch a facelift? I have 18 ways to decorate your front porch entry. Don't worry, it goes by fast, so please stay with me. Hi, I'm Melinda Cap with Melinda Cap Homes. Home sweet home. This is the place to find happiness. If one doesn't find it here, one doesn't find it anywhere. This was eloquently said by MK Sony. Check them out. Geranium love. Do you just love geraniums? Then this is the front porch for you. This Italian villa inspired entry uses a variety of old and new containers to hold red geraniums, rosemary, and temporary evergreens. So grab yourself a glass of wine and toast. Ciao Bella. Curtained outdoor room. This front porch has plenty of seating with flowers and accessories added to make this gathering spot a gorgeous and inviting space. The extra long drapes add a breezy compliment to the graphic blue rug and the blue ceramic garden stools. Incorporate the unexpected. I think this may be my all time favorite right here. Vintage suitcases make great end tables and they add a decorative storage that you wouldn't expect to see stacked upon the front porch. Adding a little whimsy, like a cute gnome, and some colorful flowers to make your guests smile. Have a seat. Vintage theater seats offer a stylish front porch seating, not only for reading, but enjoying your yard or visiting with some friends. And then what about countryside serenity? If you have a spacious front porch, this is for you, which features slate flooring, white rocking chairs, and a hanging swing for enjoying those summer afternoons. The ceiling is painted in a hint of blue and it holds two ceiling fans, perfect for when the weather gets warmer. Farmer's market style. Do you like to be a little bit country? This front entry is a great place for a small garden. Fill a trough full of herbs and flowers that greets guests with color and a wonderful fragrance. Or try some modern seating. A pair of eye-catching lounge chairs provides colorful seating on this front porch here. The colorful chairs are paired with a rustic natural wood end table that offers a spot for resting, a drink, or a snack. What about a rolling cart collage? Place a tiered cart on your front porch and then add a mix of seasonal decor pieces along with potted plants and flowers. Then update the look each season by changing out a few pieces and you'll be able to use this cart year round. How about just a swingin'? If you have a sturdy front porch ceiling, then by all means, hang a wooden swing from it. Rock away a great evening in this perfect way to relax. You can add a few pillows, make a pitcher of lemonade, and then invite the neighbors over. Only if you like them, of course. How about painting that front door? This may scare some people, but give it a try. By painting the door and the side lights in an unexpected hue, it'll have neighbors stopping by and staring. A soft pink color is mimicked in the flowers by also beautifully contrasting with the dark blue siding and the garden decor. What about an herb garden footstool? Old patio furniture can be repurposed and it comes in handy when you want to create a small herb garden. In this picture, the center strap of an old wooden footstool were removed and replaced with chicken wire, burlap, soil, and then some herbs in that order. Just see what you have lying around and then Google it and see what you can come up with. What about a stenciled stoop? Boring concrete got you down? Grab a can of paint, a plastic stencil, and a few hours of elbow grease to totally transform the look of your concrete entryway. And then don't let space limit you. Even a small porch can be made inviting by using furniture that is scale with the space. Grab a weather-friendly wicker chair, an old bench to create a seating area that is petite in size, but big on style. Is blue for you? A blue ceiling on this open airy front porch complements a graphic blue and white rug. Use traditional wicker furniture, floor to ceiling drapes, and a flower filled hanging basket to complete this super, super charming design. What about a privacy wall? We have all heard of them, or have them yourself, nosy neighbors. Here is your chance to block them out, but in a very cute way, and they'll probably never notice. If your porch or entry needs a little privacy, try a room divider made of vintage shutters. You can hang art or knickknacks from the shutters or use them as a backdrop to display colorful flowers. Toy Story. This would be my way of using a wheelbarrow I bought at my kids' school auction back when they were young. And all the classmates put their handprints on it. And I spent way too much money, but it's perfect for this project. Use vintage toys or wagons and sleds as planters, table bases, footstools, or just a unique conversation piece. 
hence the wheelbarrow. Pair an old tricycle with a soda crate to make a charming display of succulents. How about simple but effective? This porch right here knows what to do with a lazy afternoon. Grab a rocking chair and watch the world go by. When the sun goes down, a row of lantern pendants lets the easy life continue. What about functional and fabulous? Pretty planters, fresh house numbers, and a cozy seating area can make small front porches a welcoming spot to greet your guests. Use outdoor rugs, weather-resistant pillows, and a colorful basket to add softness and texture to the space. Well, that's it. Did it go by really fast? Comment below on which idea won your heart, and then watch this video next for some more ideas.